December 9, 2023, will be a day recorded in the annals of space history. China's Zhukyu 2 Yao 3 carrier rocket successfully launched once again from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center, sending the Hongyun satellite, Tiani 33 satellite, and Hongyun 2 satellite into their designated orbits in one go. This not only marks the world's first successful satellite launch by a methane rocket but also signifies the beginning of the methane rocket era. Dear audience, welcome back to our channel. This day's arrival is undoubtedly exhilarating news for all those interested in space technology. The successful launch of China's Zhukyu 2 Yao 3 carrier rocket not only demonstrates a significant breakthrough in China's space technology but also signifies a milestone in China's reusable rocket technology, with far reaching implications. This day will be etched in the annals of world aerospace history as China's pride, Zhukyu 2 Yao 3 carrier rocket successfully completes its mission once again at the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center. This flight mission successfully deployed the Hongyun, Tiani-33, and Hongyun-2 satellites into their respective target orbits with precision. The methane rocket launch this time becomes the world's first successful satellite launching rocket of its kind, ushering in a new era of global aerospace and marking a breakthrough in rocket technology using methane as fuel. Thanks to the reusable nature of methane rocket engines, this launch also symbolizes a crucial step forward for China in developing reusable rocket technology, showcasing our new advancements in aerospace technology. Methane, as a simple hydrocarbon with the chemical formula CH4, is not only the primary component of natural gas used in our daily cooking but also a major component of flatulence produced by humans and certain animals through digestion. This colorless, odorless gas has a high calorific value, when burned, it releases a large amount of energy, ultimately converting into carbon dioxide and water vapor, both relatively harmless gases to the environment, thus not causing air pollution. With the increasing global demand for clean energy, methane has found wide applications in modern society, particularly in agricultural production and people's daily lives, due to its clean and efficient combustion. Facilities and equipment using methane as energy can significantly reduce environmental burdens, especially when replacing some traditional fossil fuel-based energy sources, effectively lowering greenhouse gas emissions. In the aerospace field, the use of methane also presents significant advantages. The practice of combining liquid oxygen and methane as rocket propellants is changing the face of space propulsion technology. Compared to traditional rocket fuels such as kerosene or liquid hydrogen, methane not only has a higher energy density but also primarily releases carbon dioxide and water during combustion, making it a cleaner option for rocket fuel. Technically, methane storage and refrigeration requirements are similar to liquid oxygen, meaning the same refrigeration system can be used to handle both materials, saving costs and space in rocket design. Such design simplifications reduce the complexity of launch systems and make the entire launch process more economically efficient. More specifically, methane-fueled rockets can provide greater and more sustained power output in the same volume, which is crucial for delivering satellites and other payloads into their designated orbits. This power boost means rockets can reach the required orbits faster or carry more effective payloads. Additionally, because methane combustion byproducts are relatively environmentally friendly, methane rockets play a positive role in reducing environmental pollution and contribute to sustainable space exploration. In summary, methane, as a clean and efficient energy source, not only plays an important role in civil and agricultural fields but also demonstrates its unique advantages in the aerospace field, opening up new possibilities for future energy use and space exploration. With the development and maturation of related technologies, we have reason to believe that methane will play an increasingly important role in these areas and make significant contributions to the sustainable development of human society. As an innovative technology in the aerospace field, methane rockets bring many benefits to space exploration due to their reusable nature. Apart from SpaceX's Falcon 9, most traditional rockets are single-use. Once launched, these traditional rockets cannot be reused, leading to the need to manufacture new rockets for each mission, which is not only costly but also results in significant resource consumption and waste, putting considerable pressure on the environment. In contrast, 
the design philosophy of methane rockets emphasizes sustainability and economic efficiency. Methane, CH4, as a relatively clean fuel produces less carbon buildup during combustion, significantly reducing maintenance requirements for the combustion chamber, allowing for multiple ignitions and long-term operation without coking or damage. This design allows methane rockets to safely return to Earth after completing a space mission, undergo necessary maintenance and refueling in a shorter time frame, and prepare for the next launch. Additionally, reusable methane rockets help accelerate launch rhythms as there's no need to wait for the manufacture and assembly of new rockets, thus shortening the intervals between missions. This not only improves the efficiency of space exploration but also allows for more frequent satellite launches, international space station supplies, and even future manned deep space exploration missions. From an economic perspective, the reuse of methane rockets will significantly reduce the cost of space launches. Each successful rocket recovery and reuse means saving a considerable amount of manufacturing and material costs. In the long run, this model may trigger a transformation in the space industry, making space travel more accessible and economical. In terms of environmental protection, reducing the use of disposable rockets is also significant. By reducing the number of rockets that need to be produced, we can significantly reduce resource extraction and utilization, reduce carbon emissions and other pollutants during the manufacturing process, which is crucial for protecting our Earth's environment. Blue Arrow Aerospace's Juku series of carrier rockets, with its methane-based technology, demonstrates tremendous potential and broad prospects for future development. Especially Juku 2, as the representative of this series, combines technology and strength organically. This rocket model has a second-stage configuration with impressive dimensions, a diameter of 3.35 meters and a total length of 49.5 meters. At liftoff, it weighs 219 tons and can generate an astonishing thrust of 268 tons. In terms of power, the first stage of the rocket is equipped with four Magpie 80 ton liquid oxygen methane engines, providing powerful propulsion in parallel. The second stage uses an 80 ton liquid oxygen methane engine from the same Magpie brand, supplemented by a 10 ton mobile liquid oxygen methane engine. With such a powerful engine combination, it can easily send satellites or spacecraft weighing up to 1.5 tons into a 500-kilometer high sun-synchronous orbit. With technological progress and continuous improvement, subsequent versions of the Zhuqiu rocket are expected to increase payload capacity to 4 tons, further consolidating its position in the commercial space transportation field. Although Zhuqiu-2 still lags behind Musk's Falcon 9 in various aspects, it is a methane rocket with better development potential. The company is also developing a 200-ton liquid oxygen methane rocket engine. Once successfully developed, it can be used to develop rockets comparable to Musk's Falcon 9 or even heavy-duty Falcons and Starships. Its scheduled UQ-3's maiden flight in 2025 will surpass Falcon 9 in payload capacity. In this launch, Zhuqiu-2 Yao 3 carrier rocket successfully sent the Hongyun satellite, Tiani-33 satellite, and Hongyun-2 satellite into their designated orbits in one go. This is China's first use of a liquid carrier rocket to launch multiple satellites at once and the world's first successful launch of a satellite by a methane rocket. This successful launch is not only a major breakthrough in China's aerospace industry but also an important innovation in the global aerospace field. It marks the beginning of a new era in world rocket technology, the era of methane rockets. The opening of this era will promote further development of global aerospace technology and provide more powerful tools for human exploration of the universe. In conclusion, the successful launch of Zhuqiu-2 Yao E3 carrier rocket, the world's first methane rocket marks a significant event in space history. It signifies the availability of a mature methane rocket technology, further advancement of Chinese methane rocket and reusable rocket technology, and the vast market prospects and unlimited development potential. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Today's video ends here. See you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye.